Mm, I love this burger. So delicious. Mm, one of the best burgers I've ever had. If you're a burger fiend, this list may just become a bucket list. Sampling these insane burgers during your travels will be an awesome way to expand your culinary horizons and maybe earn bragging rights at the same time. These are the burgers that the whole world is talking about. The top 10 most insane burgers you want to eat. You have money, right? I'm not very liquid right now. The Fleur Burger 5000 is a refined choice. This, this is the perfect marriage of melty cheese and fresh, high-quality juice-filled beef. This is one insane burger. The amusingly named Fleur Burger 5000 is ultra gourmet. That's why it retails for five grand. You may ask yourself, how can any burger be worth 5,000 bucks? Half sweet. But this isn't even the most expensive burger on our list. So what sets the Fleur Burger 5000 apart from types of burgers that we eat at fast food joints like McDonald's, Burger King, and Five Guys? Well, the Fleur Burger 5000 is the creation of Hubert Keller. He's a famous chef who has an eatery called Fleur, which is situated in Las Vegas's Mandalay Bay Casino Resort. Keller is highly regarded in the culinary world. He's a superstar. To create the Fleur Burger, he sears a Wagyu beef patty and bastes it in real butter until it's cooked to perfection. This type of beef retails for about $100 per pound. The butter-basted beef is just the beginning. Chef Keller goes one step further by searing some slices of the very best foie gras. Foie gras will generally set you back about 45 bucks a pound. Then he mixes duck fat with butter and sautés a heap of black truffles. This particular variety of truffles goes for $1,500 per pound. This rich array of highly priced ingredients are then arranged on a newly baked bun. Naturally, the bun is a brioche. Chef Keller isn't putting these choice ingredients between two slices of Wonder Bread. Chrissy, bring me the big knife! I tell you, I won't do it! Liking this video so far? Click that subscribe button and tap that bell to join our notification squad. The Luther Burger is salty sweet perfection. Mm, forbidden donut. If you love salty sweet flavor profiles, you may want to treat yourself to the Luther Burger, which is rumored to be the culinary creation of legendary record producer, songwriter, and singer Luther Vandross. While this crazy burger may be too much for most people, it's just right for those who want burgers that go to extremes. When you bite into a Luther Burger, you'll be noshing on a beef patty flanked by glazed donuts. The donuts take the place of typical hamburger buns. With the Luther, cheese is optional. This interesting and unique burger is not going to help you achieve your weight loss goals. Mm, its calorie count ranges between 800 and 1500. Enjoy it in moderation. While this burger may have been one of Luther Vandross's fave snacks, rather than his invention, it's something that everyone can enjoy. Another option is heading for Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme and stocking up on classic glazed donuts. It'll be easy to grill your own beef patty at home and put the whole Luther burger together. You may want to buy a roll of Tums and eat a few for dessert. Fights heartburn fast. The Seven Emirates Burger Stack doesn't come cheap. Mr. Parker, number five, right? Yeah, um, and uh, with pickles, and can you smoosh it down real flat? Dubai is a playground for the rich. It's a place where people of means go to flaunt their wealth, soak up the sun, and enjoy shopping and fine dining. If you're interested in exploring Dubai, you may also be interested in partaking of the epic Seven Emirates Burger Stack. This burger is the most expensive out there, with a price tag of 10,000 bucks. It was purchased in Dubai by the owner of a United Arab Emirates magazine. The burger was featured at a special event called Pink Bite. You'll be happy to know that the high price tag for this burger had a purpose. Proceeds from its sale were used to further breast cancer awareness and research. This outrageous burger stack was created inside of the Dubai Mall at the Galleries Lafayette. Some notable ingredients include a seven spice mix, a harissa sauce, and veal bacon. It was served the gourmet way in a brioche bun. Since this burger helped everyone to learn about breast cancer, it's a culinary winner. The person who bought it enjoyed a decadent burger and also helped medical research. While getting your own burger stack might be tough, even if you can afford to live it up in Dubai, you can always make your own. Imagine a burger that looks like a dramatic Dubai skyscraper and go from there. I've never seen so many customers in my life. Sasha, mm. did you just slip something into your pocket? This 20,000 calorie burger comes from Las Vegas. 
it's absolutely as unhealthy as possible. If you visited the Heart Attack Grill in Las Vegas and lived to tell the tale, you must have enjoyed the whole experience, from donning a hospital Johnny shirt, to interacting with waitresses dressed as nurses, to drinking out of plastic pill bottles. This restaurant is all about excess, which makes sense because Las Vegas is all about excess. If you're in Vegas and you're not afraid of indulging in an artery-clogging meal, head for the Heart Attack Grill and order the infamous eatery's 20,000 calories burger. I doubt you'll be able to eat the whole thing, but you may have fun trying, and you'll definitely enjoy taking pictures of this huge and heavy burger on your plate. Every man dies. Not every man really lives. 20,000 calories is a lot of calories. Most people eat around 2,500 calories per day, so this burger provides far more than the recommended daily allotment of calories. It's something that no one should eat too often or ever. Burning off the calories from this burger will be impossible, even if you explore the Vegas Strip on foot for days. You may not feel too good after you nosh on this crazy burger, but there are pretend nurses on site to cater to you. Let's hope you won't need a real nurse after you eat the whole thing. The net health benefit to society is incredibly good. McDonald's Land, Sea, and Air Burger is a secret menu item. Oh, what's in the box? Secret menu items are all the rage, and one crazy McDonald's secret menu item is the Land, Sea, and Air Burger. Have you heard of the turducken, which is a roasted combination of a turkey, duck, and a chicken? This Land, Sea, and Air Burger features the same type of concept. It's made with beef patties, McChicken patties, and filet of fish patties. Whether this sounds delectable or outright gross really depends on your own culinary sensibilities. If a hardworking McDonald's staffer doesn't agree to make the Land, Sea, and Air Burger for you, you can always order a variety of sandwiches from Mickey D's and then assemble your own Land, Sea, and Air Burger at the restaurant. Expect some stares as you mix three kinds of proteins on a sesame bun. It's a beast of a sandwich that few people can finish. Best for McDonald's fanatics, this secret menu item will bring out your inner glutton. You tell me, you tell me that's not true. Chicago's best burger comes in a skillet. We understand you have some kind of ridiculous, unhuman-like challenge. Prepare for skillet madness as you challenge yourself by attempting to polish off a five-pound skillet burger which is renowned as Chicago's best. This burger is called the Challenger for good reason. One burger with four I'm sorry, we can't do that. Five pounds is a lot of pounds, and finishing every last bite of this mega burger won't be easy. You'll find the Challenger at Rudy's Bar and Grill in Chicago, Illinois. The Challenger retails for 35 bucks and delivers lots of heartiness for the money. When you order, you'll be able to select your preferred level of beef doneness and choose a yummy side, such as waffle fries, coleslaw, or a cup of macaroni and cheese. You'll also be able to choose your preferred toppings from some tasty choices, including mushrooms, bacon, and fried egg. Obviously, this isn't a low-fat, low-calorie choice. It's a food challenge that is laden with fat and calories. If you can't manage to eat the challenger alone, take the challenge with a friend, partner, or family member. Even two people may have trouble getting through this massive five-pound skillet, but they'll have fun trying. Be sure to Instagram your skillet. You may not feel like taking selfies after you nosh on this monster burger, so try to take the selfies during the first few bites. Ah, boy oh boy. Mm -mm. Hit the spot. This 190 pound burger is so insane. Is bigger better? The makers of this 190 pound burger think so. This burger was produced by Mally's Sports Grill and Bar in Detroit, Michigan. It measured two and a half feet in height and weighed in at 190 pounds. Of course, it was too much for a single person, so a big crew of Detroit residents gathered to make mincemeat of this mammoth burger. The group was determined to polish off the biggest burger in the world. People shoveled ground beef into their mouths and more ground beef kept coming. How many pounds of this burger could you eat? This burger took 16 hours to make and three guys worked on it before it was served. The challenge to eat it all was led by Adam Richman of Man Vs. Food. In the end, the group, who grew increasingly pale, bloated, and sick-looking as they bravely shoved chunks of the burger into their faces, managed to consume 160 pounds of it. They didn't win the challenge. The world's biggest burger kicked their butt. No more place! No more place! Could you finish the Sasquatch? Tried. He has way too much to go. 
This crazy burger is called the Sasquatch, and you can get your very own Sasquatch at the Bigfoot Lodge in Memphis, Tennessee. The Bigfoot Lodge is conveniently located right in the heart of Memphis's downtown core. When you order the Sasquatch, you'll receive a cheeseburger that weighs in at four pounds. The burger only costs $19.99, which is pretty good value, considering the escalating cost of fast food burgers these days. If you manage to choke down the Sasquatch in an hour without any help from other people, you won't need to pay a single penny for your burger. Also, your pick will go up in the Eatery's Hall of Fame. To date, only one person's picture is displayed on the wall, but you could be the second. This burger tastes great. There's just a lot of it to eat. It's beyond most people's capability to finish the Sasquatch. I'm officially... <laughs> Gordon Ramsay dissed the cowboy burger. Cowboy with a very small hat. On top, look at the bun. Would you serve Chef Gordon Ramsay a burger that he couldn't even get into his mouth? One hapless executive chef did during a memorable episode of Ramsay's addictive reality TV show, Kitchen Nightmares. It was called the Cowboy Burger, and like the rest of the burgers at the troubled Los Angeles eatery Burger Kitchen, it did not pass muster with Chef Ramsay. All the meat's raw. You may remember this particular episode of Kitchen Nightmares because of the Cowboy Burger, which featured an absurdly thick beef patty. You may also remember it because the restaurant owner confessed that he used his own son's inheritance to open the restaurant. So shady. Family drama, as well as crazy bad burgers, were definitely on the menu during the show. Ramsay did his level best to help, but Burger Kitchen was destined to bite the dust, along with the restaurant's signature Cowboy Burger. Greasy, cooked to hell, damn. The Cowboy Burger was atrociously overpriced at 39 bucks. What's hilarious about this misshapen burger is how out of proportion its bun is to the beef patty. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. The bun seems tiny, and it just makes the whole burger look ridiculous. It also makes it almost impossible to eat. Gordon cut the Cowboy Burger up with a knife and fork, and then popped a piece of the burger into his mouth. It did not please his palate. Since Burger Kitchen is no more, you'll need to recreate the Cowboy Burger at home. If you dare. Come on. Seriously. Discover the Octomac Cheeseburger, the corporate giant burger. You showed me a screen grab of this burger and challenged me to make it kind of like a dare. Okay, it's time for the last crazy burger on our list. Babbletop laid down the gauntlet by challenging Greg from Ballistic Barbecue to make this massive burger, and he earns the top spot as he definitely rose to the challenge. Could you scarf down a burger with eight patties instead of the usual one or two? If you think that you're up to this loco burger challenge, prepare your own Octo Mac cheeseburger, and then try to eat the whole thing. It's a version of a classic Big Mac with loads of extra beef to make it special and insane. This burger burger is so mammoth, a stick needs to be put through it just to keep it upright. Greg began by mixing mayonnaise, mustard, and an array of other tasty ingredients to make a homemade Big Mac-inspired sauce for the Octomac. I'm telling you, this is way better than taking like Thousand Island or, or Russian dressing and mixing it with mayo. Then he started creating the eight patties from 80-20 ground beef. He used metal burger rings to shape uniform beef patties. After using the burger rings, he placed parchment paper over the patties and then used a rolling pin to smooth them out. The parchment paper and rolling pin contributed to a perfect finish. Once the burgers were the ideal shape, thickness, and size, he firmed them up by placing them in the freezer while he got his grill going. When it was time to start grilling, this barbecue master was really in his element. He estimated the total weight of the Octo patties to be one and three quarter pounds. Compared to typical Big Macs, which are sizable, substantial burgers, a one and three quarter pound burger is huge. It's a mega burger. Greg toasted burger buns on the grill as he tended to the eight patties. Once they were cooked to juicy perfection, he layered them with homemade Big Mac sauce and slices of American cheese. Pickles, lettuce, and onions were also added to boost flavor and texture. The completed burger behemoth was a sight to behold. No matter how much it was squashed, it just wouldn't fit into the chef's mouth. Greg decided to slice it to show us all what it looked like on the inside. Then he crammed the slice into his mouth. Thanks to Greg from Ballistic Barbecue for taking on this epic food challenge and being such an awesome sport. Thank you, Babble Top. Greg, you really rocked it, and you helped us discover the wonders of the juicy, zesty, fun, and very satisfying Octo Mac Burger. You can have what we're serving up without worrying about the calorie count. Hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and don't forget to check out Ballistic Barbecue's own Octo Mac Burger video.